Hello. Namaste. What energies are coming in in November? We've moved through October, October with a lot of the water, the cool, the calming, the peace. November is bringing in this feeling of retreating, going inside. When we retreat, when we go within, we have an opportunity to really get to know who we are. We don't have the distractions of the outside world. Our mind is not constantly focused on what we need to do, what's, what's next on the list, what plans we're making, who we're seeing. No, it's a different energy coming in. It's about how am I feeling? What's happening for me? Where am I at? How am I doing? Who am I? Those are the kind of questions that you might find yourself asking in November as the energy is, is changing, it's kind of a swirling energy. I really feel it's a, it's a swirling inwards energy of, oh wait, hold on. I can give myself permission to carve out more time for myself. I don't have to do what I think others expect me to do. Listen to that again. I don't have to do what I think others expect me to do. I surrender myself to myself, to my soul. And I trust that everything that I need is because my soul is guiding me. And when you give yourself that space for you, you can connect more with your soul. And then you are more receptive to hearing, seeing, feeling, through all of the five senses, taste, smell, touch, hearing, sight, and your deep inner knowing, your gut intuition, which is seated in your sacral chakra, deep within your belly. In Chinese, it's called the Dantian. In Reiki, it's called the Hara Center. In yoga, it's the sacral chakra. Whatever it's called, it is a sacred center and it is two fingers down from your navel, your belly button, two fingers inwards and it is a swirling center that grows and expands and it is here that we have our gut intuition. And you have this opportunity now through, through November and also a bit into December, really feels like retreating, going within and connecting with your soul, connecting with your deep intuition, trusting your gut instinct. It's that feeling where you just know something without having to use your left side of your brain, your logical linear thinking mind, but rather activating the right side of your brain and deep within your belly. It's an inner knowing, just knowing like this feels right, this is right for me, or this is not right for me and I need to do something else. So take time this month to use this retreating energy to, to go with them. If people are inviting you out, you can say, no, I'm respecting my energies. I'm, I'm checking in where I'm at and I'm gonna spend more time on my self-development to connect more with my soul, with who I truly am and doing things more because you want to do them, because they resonate with you, rather than doing them because you feel you have to, because that then means that you are pleasing another person. You are here on earth to be your vibration. You, the more that you truly rely on you, connect with you, believe in yourself, the more you vibrate your unique resonance, and November brings in the energy of retreating, so connecting with you and resonating you. So the more you get to understand who you are, what your soul purpose is, why you're here in this beautiful creative place, 
Why are you here in the third dimension, which is a place of duality, a place where you have the ability to use your mind, your soul, your emotions, your physical body to create and manifest? Why are you here? What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that you're experiencing? What is it that brings you joy? So the more you connect with yourself, the more you start to resonate you and the more you attract in experiences, opportunities, people, life that is more connected with you, the soul that you are, the true soul essence and light that you are. So we've got retreating, spending time alone, spending time within, meditating, relaxing, doing nothing, less of the doing, more of the being present with you. We've got connecting with your own unique resonance, that's your vibration, that's the frequency, the energy that you truly are. And then we've got ritual. This month is a month for ritual. And what does that mean? It's a wonderful opportunity to meditate, to, to create your own unique ritual. And it might be that you go for a walk every day at the same time, which is setting an intention of this is my sacred time for me to connect with nature. This is my ritual to connect with nature and to connect with myself. It might be that you want to practice a meditation. Maybe you want to work with my new moon meditation, which is extremely powerful. It is connecting within, going within to the stillness. Maybe you want to change some things that you're eating and create a ritual in the morning, waking up, drinking some warm, water with a bit of lime or lemon and making that moment just for you when you take a sip you are thinking love light me nurturing choose a ritual and take the next 20 30 days to practice it every day maybe it's yoga Maybe it's a 15, 20 minute yoga practice. Maybe it's breathing. You know, every time you get to the traffic lights, maybe you wanna, it, while the traffic light is red, and in South Africa we call traffic lights robots, so when the robot is red, stop thinking, stop breathing. Or maybe it's when you're on the bus or on the tube, you're gonna set that as your ritual for breathing, focusing on your breath, breathing in and out of your belly. It's expanding outwards with your in-breath and it's resting back down with your out-breath and you are just constantly focused on your breath. So choose your ritual and bring it into every single day for the rest of the month. Also for this month, repetition. It feels like we are within this little cocoon where we are nurturing ourselves, where we are retreating, where we are creating beautiful rituals for ourselves, and that repetition is key. It is so important to make sure that what we choose, these good healthy habits, that we repeat them. And if you repeat a good healthy habit, something that's really raising your vibration, which means that it's making you feel joyful and light and positive and connected to your soul when you repeat it you create a a beautiful neural pathway in your mind in your brain in your energy and it means that after this month as you move into December it will naturally repeat by itself without you even needing to think about it which means you'll be having these new healthy ways of being which means that you'll be vibrating a new you you have an opportunity to create a new you. When in actual fact, the new you is already you, 
It's just that we have layers and layers of old habits and ways of being that can sometimes hide our self, our true self, our soul that's in the core of who we are. So by creating new positive ways of being and repeating them, you are really opening up to who you already are, which is inside of you, which will be new to you, but it is always you. So that's the energy that I'm picking up for November. And now I want to take a moment to channel and I channel with my eyes closed and I invite you to close your eyes too. And let's see what the universe, what spirit wants to guide and, and give us some insights into for this month. Take time for you. Honor your energy and your vibration always. There is nothing that is expected of you. The only truth is to be the authentic being that you are. And the way to that is by shedding the many layers that are not you. The layers of the self that are created on your mind or in your mind or on the mental layer in the vibration here in the third dimension. And as you let go of parts of you that no longer serve you, that have been controlling and manipulating and vibrating, which are attracting in some awkward or uncomfortable situations in your life, situations where you find yourself wanting to run away or hide or fight with some fire and anger and aggression. All of these energies are a part of you, but they are not the true you. The true you is love, peace, absolute harmony and tranquility. You vibrate on many dimensions and layers. There is a percentage, a part of you, that is aware, awakened, and conscious in the human form on the third dimension. And then there are many other layers, energies, dimensions, realities, where you, your soul, is residing at the same time. And you can tap into these other dimensions, these other energies where higher information and wisdom awaits you. You can do this through awareness by being aware of your soul in your body, by being aware that you are more than your soul in your body, by being aware that you are vibrating on so many other different levels and layers and setting the intention to connect with all these different layers and levels of your higher self, your soul self, your spiritual self, your conscious self, the universe, which is here supporting you always because it is you. So as you unfold and release layers of yourself, you create more space within your mind. Your mind becomes more open to receiving the messages, the intuition, the guidance, the wisdom of beyond the third dimension. You have access to beyond the third dimension always. You are here in a body which is particle and matter, but you are also very much so frequency vibration, energy, and light all over, which means that you have the opportunity and the ability to connect with what is coming in the future, what has happened in the past, what is happening already around you, what is happening for others. You may start to sense and feel what other people are going through when you are around them. You may be able to 
communicate telepathically, communicating with others without using your words. The mind is so powerful and so open and it stretches beyond this third dimension, meaning that your soul is communicating and receiving information from all other souls, all seven to eight billion other souls in this dimension and beyond in the other dimensions. You are able to connect and tap into the energy of the angels, hundreds and thousands of angels that are here, but yet that you cannot see or sense them, but there's a deep inner knowing that you know that they are here to support you, as well as your guides, as well as nature, the spirit animals become aware of which animals or insects come across your path. Notice them, stop for a moment, recognize them as they enter your space or you enter theirs and ask them what message they have for you. Go into stillness and receive that message. This is your time to be receptive receptive in receiving mode from all of nature, from all that is beyond the third dimension. And you do this by going within, connecting to your soul, going into the deep stillness and quiet that resides in you. And by becoming more aware and receptive of your outer world, rather than being the force that is controlling and trying to dominate and create the outer world. You surrender, you let go, and you move into a sense of trust, receptivity, openness to all that is surrounding you, observing what it is that is coming across in your path and receiving everything that comes into your path as a synchronicity, because nothing happens by chance. Everything that you see, hear, smell, touch, taste and receive is meant to be. It is a sign, it is a message, it is for you to absorb, receive, digest and then respond in the beautiful loving way of your true essence and light. You are a divine being of love. Know that truly know that connect more with your true essence and light with love and light to you take time now to really absorb this message you may be drawn to listening to it over and over again, or once might just be enough for you. You always receive, hear, and remember every part that you are ready to remember, receive, hear, and absorb. This message comes with so much love from me, the universe, my guides, from my heart and soul. Have a beautiful month. Namaste.